What's up, everybody? Showtime Sean Porter here. Um, if you didn't know, now you know. Uh, today, I will be breaking down and analyzing and commentating on my fight against Adrian Granados. This fight here was a, a little different from most fights that, that I've had, um, you know, at this caliber. Uh, we spar more than we did anything else uh, for this fight. The reason being is because we knew that Adrian Granados was what you call rough and rugged. We knew that he was very durable and was a straight ahead fighter, was gonna come at me and, and pressure me. So uh, majority of the sparring that we did was, was a uh, majority of the training we did for this fight was actually this was sparring. And uh, another thing was that uh, we brought in guys to spar that were, that were just gonna come right at me. Um, and, and as you can see right here, you know, uh, he came out really composed, uh, I think, wanting to box but it didn't take long I, I touched him a couple of times and and then he's right back in my face uh trying to get me back which is what we expected to see uh from him in this fight um and this fight also uh you'll see what we call the in and out motion the majority of this fight is me on my toes um just trying to hit him and not get hit uh right there you see me uh put him against the ropes and go at the body you know, when you when you're in the ring with a guy who has a, a lot of stamina and can and can come at you and take a lot of punches to the head, you try to bring him down by going to the body. So, you know, we we wanted to use a lot of speed in this fight, and also we wanted to go to the body to try to slow him down. So, um, just the first round here, a minute and a half in, and you see a lot of action already. Uh, both of us action-packed fighters, which was another reason why we accepted this fight was because um, we knew that uh, even though he didn't quote unquote have the, wasn't at the same quote unquote level as I am or was at that point or whatever, uh, we knew that it would be an action packed fight that people would, would, would enjoy seeing. Um, right there, you see me spin him. Uh, that's a move that I've worked on basically since I started boxing. Uh, my dad would tell us that the rings were, were like, the, the ropes were like fire and you don't want your back against the ropes. So he, he showed us all how to spin off of the ropes. Um, so that's something you, you never really see from me. You never really see me up against the ropes unless I want to be there. And then um, when I'm ready to get off the ropes, I make that move. Defense too was something that we, we worked on uh, in camp. Uh, you see right there, a lot of head movement. Uh, and, and he's throwing a lot of shots, you know? So. We, we want to be responsible in defense at all times. And in this fight in particular, we knew that he was going to be throwing a lot of shots. So we wanted it to have defense with both the feet as well as the upper body heads, moving heads. Right there, that was just an up, up, down, up with the jab. Uh, it, it's simple, um, but when it's perfected, it, it works and it looks good. And I think right there was just overhand right, uh, which was set up by the jab, you see the up, down, up. So now we're in round eight, um, doesn't look hurt and I didn't really see anything. And I, I remember uh, when I did finally tell my dad that I hurt my hand, I think it was the 10th round. And uh, yep, the hand is hurt, it's down, it's low. The hand's hurt, um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't broke. So I'll say that, but I remember that it would, at points, it wasn't every punch that I threw, but there were points where it would be a sharp, quick pain um, when I would hit him with it. And I can tell that it's hurt because it's down extremely low now. You can see that it's down lower now than it's been the entire fight. Yes, I, I, I box with my, with my left hand low, but now it's down be below my waist, which I can tell it's hurt. I know it's hurt, so. Um, and, uh, oh, I didn't tackle him, all right? So don't say I tackled him. I can't rewind this, <laughs> but I didn't tackle him. I think he was coming in and, uh, you know, he was off balance. And then I wanted to muscle up as well. And, uh, you know, I got the good, I ended up on the good side of that right there. But the hands hurt. Uh, let's go back to the hands. So I'm a, I'm a jab first kind of fighter. Uh, I'm a jab first fighter. And uh, it's really hard for me not to use my jab hand. So you can see that even though it's low, I still want to jab to the head and I still want to jab to the body. Uh, it's And it wasn't a pain that's, it's not there right now. The pain was only there when I would hit him. And so it was, you know, you, it's hard to not throw a punch that you love to, to, to throw. And then when it doesn't hurt every time you land it, you don't know when it's gonna hurt, you know? So I stay with the jab hand. Um, 
pull back from it a little bit, but you know, it's it's still there and it's still effective and it's still working. But I think you'll start to see more rights um, more than anything. Um, and and there's me just smothering him and uh, and stepping forward. When, and right here is good defense. Hands are up and and I'm rolling. You know, right there, I know that it's not time to uh, to punch. It's time to use defense. And then you saw the counter overhand right. The counter overhand right came because the left hand is hurt. You know. So essentially, I fought four rounds or five rounds with with a hurt hand, give or take. Right there's the pivot. You see that time I pivoted to the right first because the right hand uh, is what's feeling good. But then instinct takes over and I pivot both ways and and, and punch using both hands. Pace is going to slow down. Everything's going to slow down because the hands hurt. Decision of this fight, what this the scores of this fight were. Um, it should have been unanimous. I believe it was unanimous. Round ten. No clue what I'm telling the ref right there. Right now is the 10th round. Um, I don't really count rounds during the fight. I don't think I recognize that this, that this was the 10th round right here. Um, but I feel comfortable. I feel like I'm in the lead. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to box. You know, I'm going to um, do what I have to do to win the fight. Uh, so you, you'll you see me get back on my feet. And you'll see me move more. And uh, right there, you see me just pivot out with my hands up and uh, and ready for defense. I think at this point I'm 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 thinking defense and counter counter um, and uh, basically just a few inches away from landing that right hand that kind of uh, overhand right a few times that he uh, he came in for it and then right there he went low so I grabbed his head looked right at the ref knowing you know the ref's gonna come in uh, he sees me headlocking this guy he's gonna come in and, and break this up. Um, Good footwork again. Feet a little wide, but I, it, there are things that I can get away with because I'm so explosive and because I'm so fast um, that I can make it happen. Um, and, and just digging, throwing the, the right punches in the right place. Right there, you see overhand rights and you see left hooks. Um, the overhand rights were because uh, even though he, he, was, he was bent over a little bit and his hands were up, the overhand right is the is the is the punch that's gonna land, and then coming back with the hooks, hooks because same thing on the on the opposite side. You see that right there, man. That's classic Adrian Granados. I release, come off of the ropes, and he comes right at me, and um, the hands really hurt. Me. The hands really hurt. I remember, um, I I right there was in this round was where I punched him, and I felt like I had enough. I uh, I hit him, and uh, I felt this sting, and it just continued on. And then you see it again right there. Throw a jab, and I hurt it again. Um, but we'll keep boxing here. I think uh, you'll see a part. You'll see a wild one, two, three. Just a counter one, two, three, and it lands. And you see wild overhand right. See right here. Um, thing that you guys don't know is. I, I, at this point, I was through. At this point, I was through. I thought, uh, man, I, I thought I, I thought my hand was broke, and I thought it was a wrap. I was ready to quit. Um, so this is around when my dad knows there's something wrong. Uh, obviously, I, I really displayed it right there through a left hook and really hurt myself. Come back to the corner. What's wrong? Left hands hurt. All right, use your feet. Move. You got two rounds left. Can't. <laughs> he said, I can't. <laughs> My dad said, you can't stop. He says, you, you you give up, you lose the belt. And you don't want to do that. So just use your feet, use your defense. Don't use your jab hand. Just move on. 
and um, you, you'll see me for the majority of the rest of this fight here. Uh, move, use the jab hand a little bit uh, when necessary. Um, again, I haven't seen this fight in, in some time, so I do know that me personally, I know that I'm gonna compete no matter what. So I'm sure even if it's not the same amount of punch that you saw earlier in the fight, you're still gonna see a lot of punches from me because that's what I do. Um, but you'll see more defense and you'll see more moving than anything uh, from here on uh, in this fight. Hands are up and um, and just trying to smother him at this point, trying not to let him uh, get off. Um, you can go all the way back now to what we said, uh, to what I said earlier uh, before the fight, I think even started. The plan was to make this a, yeah, I would say I'm telling my dad, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> he said, y'all keep going. And right now I'm just, I'm stalling, you know, um, trying to make it happen. And my dad's saying, he said, no, you can't quit. Keep going. Get your hands up and move. Get your hands up and move. And uh, I'm glad the ref, I don't think the ref saw the, 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 the uh, communication between myself and my dad. I don't think he saw the interaction enough to know uh, that I was telling him that I was hurt and I, and I wanted to stop. And uh, my dad was telling me, no, don't stop. Keep going. You're fine. Use your foot. You're in shape. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much how we've made it through the rest of this fight. So I was, uh, okay, two things. Number one, I was a little uh, premature with what I said. Right there in the 11th round was when I was like, all right, I'm done. But to go all the way back to the beginning, we wanted to make this a 12-round fight because we knew he didn't have 12-round experience. So the plan was to take him to the 11th and 12th round and try to stop him. Um, but after hurting my hand, I think we, it became more of a defensive fight for me. Uh, than it was offensive, especially uh, with my jab hand uh, at this point done. And you'll see more defense right there. You saw the rolling, just trying to be elusive and, and obviously trying to make him miss, but, you know, not allowing him to know where I'm at. So you'll see both things. You'll see me move uh, with my hands up high and um, and using the whole ring. But then you see me get really low uh, and it basically just changes the the uh, the the, uh, the level of where I am so that I become basically uh, unpredictable. And like I said before, bad feet. Uh, Adrian Granados did not know how to cut me off. Uh, and, and ref just pushed him, man. I just feel bad. He, again, watching this fight, I feel bad for him. Um, you'll see that. You'll see a lot of me smothering him at this point. Um, right there was his shoulder to, bu to bump him off. And then... Uh, and uh, I remember, um, so I was premature with that conversation, but in the 11th round, between the 11th and the 12th round, I told my dad, I'm done. And he says, you can't stop. He said, if you quit, they're going to they're gonna give him the win. You're, you're, you're going to lose uh, a technical decision. He says, you got to finish this fight. I said, all right. And uh, he said, just get your hands up, use your feet. Don't let him touch you. And you'll see a lot of that. Now, see, I'm not a holder. And again, I, obviously, I don't want to get caught for holding and things like that. So you'll see me get up close and then push him right off. You you really won't see me grab him and hold him because I'm that's not my fighting style. And that's not what I do. He's going to get uh, frustrated in this 12th round here. And it's because he wants to finish the fight uh, in a very exciting way. Of course, he doesn't. And uh, at this point, he knows that if I stop moving, that's the only chance he has to hit me and beat me. And so he's actually going to get really, uh, really uh, frustrated and, and tell me to come after him. And uh, again, it's not going to happen. But see, when you don't have a jab, your feet are out of position. You're throwing, you're throwing right hands and, and right hooks that are out of position and, and, and wrong. You don't have a chance against me. See that? Again, changing the level. Now the hands are up and I'm low, you know, which makes which makes me hard to find. And um, right there is just me wanting to smother him and, uh, and milk that clock. Good kind of right hand there. And he said, no. And I'm gonna just keep boxing. Uh, I don't care what antics guys are using the ring against me. If I'm not for it, then I ain't for it. And uh, another overhand, kind of overhand. 
right there just milking the clock some more. You know, he, he did grab, he did catch my head when I was coming up and because he caught my head. It's good, just good movement, you know? Uh, trying to just use misdirection with the with the head going like this. And then the, the feet, they're moving. You know, the feet are just pure instinct and stepping the way I know or instinctively know the way I, I, I need to move. Right here, we got about 40 seconds left. And uh, I'm gonna keep moving. Um, grab and clinch. And now I'm holding them and I'm talking to the ref. I got nothing to say to the ref. What am I gonna say to the ref? Nothing, but I'm, 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 I'm making this clock and uh, you know, I'm finishing this fight. Uh, over here, right? Smother some more. Hands are up now. Let's see the spin off the off the ropes. Let's see the spin off the ropes. No, no spin off the ropes. <laughs> yeah, I had to make it through that one. Um, I was not happy about that. Uh, and obviously, we all know the decision there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw here uh, from me. Uh, analyzing, commentating, breaking down this fight the best way I could, give you guys some perspective that you hadn't seen or, or heard or thought of. And um, again, I hope you guys uh, enjoy what you saw today. Um, stay tuned to PBC. We will be back soon. God bless you guys. I'm about to eat the food that I didn't eat because I was talking to y'all. Take care. For all the best boxing content, follow PBC on Fox on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.